Shalom, welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to you, Oculus, pushing his word in sincerity and truth. Back with another lesson. And this is going to be a quick article from RT dealing with that famine that's coming, man. All right. Now, this article is called Macron Wants to Introduce Food Vouchers. All right. The French president has warned of a global food crisis resulting from military actions in Ukraine. And we've been saying this, all right, that this is coming. And not only us, but the Bible, uh, Bible prophecy has been saying this, right? A major, uh, a major prophecy that's to come in the Bible is famine, all right? French President uh, Emmanuel Macron uh, reiterated his promise to issue struggling families with food vouchers amid sharp rises and fuel and raw materials and this and he's going to have to basically uh, create more money to pay for these things which which inflation is already here but get ready for hyperinflation now i'm just talking about the eu and french because this is what this is about france but don't get it twisted in america they're going to follow the same playbook because all these countries are intertwined right biden just gave a speech talking about a new world order and uh, <laughs> a new system so, hey, the cat is out the bag, the chips are on the table, and everything is being uh, brought out. So let's keep going. It says, uh, French President Emmanuel Macron reiterated his promise to issue struggling families with food vouchers amid sharp rises in fuel and raw material costs. Calls as he claimed by the ongoing Russian military offensive in Ukraine. All right. It says in an interview with France Blue Radio on Tuesday, Macron uh, said the world is facing a global food crisis, emphasizing that France has advised fellow European countries to come up with a concern response uh, to this issue. The president, who is facing an election on April 10th, said his government has already taken a number of measures, including uh, energy caps and fuel discounts to support the country's uh, residents. So it's going to be a downturn in the economy once you start blocking energy prices are so high businesses are going to shut down trucks aren't going to roll like they used to roll so a uh, get ready for that so-called uh, recession into a depression it says stressing that ukraine and russia uh so stressing that ukraine and russia are true barns for international food supply macron said so guess what these especially these countries close to uh ukraine and russia over there they need they lean on them uh more heavily than even, uh, let's say, the U.S. But also, fertilizer comes out of uh, that area, and the whole world needs that. So it's going to get real <laughs> messy, all right? It's going to get real messy. You're going to see how, when the scriptures talk about the countries that were in, in league with America are going to turn against her, all right? As it is written, these things shall play out. It says, I want to int introduce food vouchers to help the most modest households and the middle classes to face these additional costs. He added that he would also want his compatriots to buy locally and to buy French products. It says Macron has modeled the idea of food vouchers since December 2020 and is now making it one of his campaign promises. So this is going to come. The universal uh, basic income is going to come, which is all going to lead to a the implementation of that mark. That this, this current system is being t uh, tore down and the new system is going to be put back uh, in its place, which is the B system. All right, but famine is something that's serious. I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures on that. Finish this article, and that's gonna be it. First scripture I'm gonna get is in Lamentations four and nine. It says, "They that be slain with the sword are better than they that are that they are better than they that be slain with hunger." So it's better to be put to death by a sword, the gun, quickly than with hunger. It says, "For these pine away, stricken through for the want of the fruits of the field." So you see a well, here in uh, Mystery Babylon, you see the uh, uh, infomercials they play at, at fucking three in the morning of Hamites in, in, in Africa with their ribs showing, man. All right. Dying slowly. That's what's going to come to the world, man. All right. Death. Great death. That's what's uh, on the horizon. So you can understand <laughs> that's building back better. That's the uh, a, the, the global reset. If you don't get the gist, uh, let's go back to the article. It says, uh, 
Russia and Ukraine are among the world's biggest crop suppliers, according to the United Nations on trade and development. The two countries represent 53% of global trade in sunflower oil and seeds and 27% in wheat. A European Central Bank has earlier said that food inflation is expected to remain high through 2022 due to high commodity, commodity prices and extraordinary increases in gas and electricity prices. Uh, the European Commission is currently uh, working on measures which could increase the EU's uh, food supply. However, uh, they warn all countries will inevitably, inevitably be impacted by the conflict-generated crisis increasing in food and fuel prices will affect the most vulnerable and developing countries, putting pressure on the poorest households which spend the highest share of their income on food, resulting in hardship and hunger, says the uh, uh, World Organization. Right, and then they're not mentioning death, man. <laughs> they leaving that out. Uh, let's go back. Let's go to the book. Let's go back to the book of uh, Revelation, chapter six, verse six. It says, "And I heard in the midst of the four beasts say a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and wine." But I wanted to get this in a different translation uh, in Revelation 6 and 6 because it makes uh, a kind of a different point when you read it in a different translation. This is the New Living Translation, and this is Revelation 6 and 6. And I heard a voice from among the four living beings saying, A loaf of wheat bread or three loaves of barley will cost a day's pay. And don't waste the oil, the olive oil and wine. So they made a point of saying how expensive uh, these things will cost, all right? Because we are in the middle of these prophecies. Let's keep going. It says, verse 7, And when he had opened the fourth seal, and I heard the voice of the fourth beast saying, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and hell followed him. And power was given unto him over the fourth part of the earth to kill with a sword, with hunger, and with death, and with the beast of the earth. So a lot of death and bloodshed is going to come up on the planet. All right. That is what's coming. Uh, let's go back. It says uh, <clears throat> Moscow attacked Ukraine in late February following a seven year standoff over Kyiv's failure to implement the terms of the Minsk agreement and Russia eventual recognition of the Donbass Republic. Slakia. The Donbass republics with capitals of Donetsk and Lugansk, the German and French broker protocols had been designed to regular, regularize the status of the regions within the Ukrainian state. Right? It says Russia has now demanded that Ukraine officially declare itself a neutral country that will never join the U.S. led NATO military bloc. And this is coming from RT, so this is their. Their uh, country's news organization, so they're telling you why they did why they did what they did, which they're not <laughs> they're not saying any of this on uh, the West media, so you can understand. Uh, let's go back. <clears throat> let's go into the book of Habakkuk two and four. It says, uh, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth, keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death. Right. And that's pretty much as Edomite as a whole, man. All right. It says, And cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people, especially the West, especially uh, Mystery Babylon. All right, the expansion mindset, and the one a uh, the one person that's not going against it, the one Edomite fraction I put it like that that's going against them, is a uh, uh, Russia, right? They don't want the expansion of NATO troops. They don't want uh, Ukraine to be a part of NATO. They don't want to be a part of uh, the new coming so-called order. So they're on the outside looking in, but it's all through the spirit because these uh, individuals and countries are gonna. Bring in World War Three. Bring in a nuclear war. All right. Which is written about in the scriptures. Verse uh, 
6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? Uh, it says, How long? And to him that laid of himself in thick clay. So, as the apostle uh, Tahar brought up a while ago in that chapter in Habakkuk about that word clay in that specific verse. Uh, let me look it up real quick because it means uh, something that's going on right now. So when we go into the Hebrew for that word uh, clay, right? And it says, uh, I bought, I bought yacht. I buy yacht, right? And basically, when you go into that, uh, I bought that. It says, uh, weights of pledges, heavy debt. All right? Heavy debt. So, that's exactly what these countries are doing. Just like Macron is issuing these vouchers. You know, uh, the economy is already uh, sluggish. The buying power is already down because these countries have so much debt. All right. But that's the point. I want to give all glory, praise and honor to Yahweh Shimei Rashai and uh, shout one the next time.